Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Now before I begin today's video, I just wanted to say a massive shout out to all of these beautiful people that appear on the screen right now. Why you may be saying, well, these beautiful people watched my video where I was actually asking for help and I wanted to acknowledge that I truly appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to comment because you are exactly the reason why I continue to make videos and I, I really appreciate the time that you have all taken to help me because you've given me some clarity. So. With all of those people that didn't watch that video, um, because there was a significant drop in my views, so that kind of gave me the idea of who are like <laughs> my MKL junkies. So thank you. Um, so for everyone that missed it out, missed that video, I was basically saying that I needed help and I needed some direction as to what do you want to see on this channel. I got an overwhelming response, and it seems that most of you want to see the Law of Attraction um, series continue, which is wonderful because that's what I'm truly passionate about. And vlogs came up too because you were saying that you really would like to hear more information about my day-to-day self-love practices and what does that look like. And so yeah, I'll be fitting that in for you very, very shortly. Um, so today I wanted to give you a video and give you five tips that have helped me on my journey to manifest quicker. Now, what these five tips are all linked to areas of audio or visual um, kind of stimulus. Now, they can actually help lower your vibration or raise it. It just depends how you look at it. So let me give you the five tips. Now, social media is the one area that we are immersed in daily. Well, I feel that I am because um, I'm making a living from using social media. But also I have personal accounts that um, I have people that are not at the same level or the vibration that I would like. So, for instance, Facebook. I went through my Facebook friends list and I like to keep it very small, around 150-ish. And so what I did is I went through and I unfriended anybody that I, you know, was like not resonating with or I didn't really care to see what they were up to. Um, and then everybody else, get this, you're going to be shocked by this, about 19% of the people that I am friends with on Facebook, I actually unfollowed. I didn't unfriend them, I just unfollowed them. Now the reason I did that and you're probably like, what the hell Mel? is I still love them, but they are not helping me get to where I need to get. And I love to have them on my Facebook and I'm like, oh, I wonder what such and such has been up to and then I can go and see. I don't wanna see their day-to-day -day news feed pop up in, um, in my schedule, like not my schedule, in my news feed. Like I don't wanna see what they're doing pop up every day and be like, hey, they like this post about this, this, and this, because I really don't care. I love them as people, but I really don't care what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis because they're not at the same vibration as me. I am on a journey to manifest my heart's true desires and I need to stay in vibrational alignment. And if you're new to the whole Law of Attraction series, welcome. Um, please watch the other previous nine episodes so you can get up to date of what I'm talking about. But I, I really made the conscious decision to unfollow them. And then when I started scrolling through my Facebook the next day, I was like, oh, I instantly felt happier. And it was just that quick little tip of just unfriending or unfollowing people who um, weren't meeting me where I needed to be. Because I, I surround myself with people that I want to... Um, to be like and you are who you attract so I'm hanging like by watching this feed was actually making me feel like it wasn't helping me you know some people your closest friends and families won't even understand the journey that you're on sometimes my family don't understand either and it took them quite a while to understand especially when I became vegan um they were like why are you eating like all those bananas it was just bizarre so it takes people a while to catch up with what you're doing so you still love them that is the bottom one you still love them you just don't need to see their daily feed pop up for you 
So that was an interesting one. And then I started going through the groups on Facebook that no longer were a vibrational match to me. I did the same with um, Instagram. I got rid of so many people on my public account, Melanie Kate Love. And I was just basically adding people that were like health and wellness advocates, people who were like living their best life. And you can go through, you can check out everyone I follow. Um, that's no hidden secret there, but that totally transformed things for me. Um, YouTube, um, I went through and unsubscribed for any channels that, you know, weren't raising my vibration or it wasn't really something that was, um, of interest to me anymore. Um, and there was a couple of channels that I hadn't followed for ages. And then I went to see them again and I was like, Oh my God, you were doing so well. And so I subscribed to them again. And then I started watching a whole heap of other channels, like the tiny house movement, because that's definitely one of my goals to live in a tiny house. The whole van life, I'm seeing, watching so many videos about people converting their sprinter vans and it's just amazing. Anyway, so that was tip number one, social media. Just basically unfriend or unfollow anyone that doesn't raise your vibration and follow people that do because it's going to just change everything for you. Okay, so the next tip is um, music or radio that you're listening to. So for me, I probably about a year ago, always had to have music on. And it was very uncomfortable when I met Peter because he always had no music playing in the car. And I was like, dude, this is so boring. Um, (laughs) Which now I have learned to find the balance with that. But I now, um, I rarely listen to the radio unless I'm like consciously manifesting. Like the other day when I was driving back from Brisbane, like late at night, I was like, universe, please give me like the diva music. And then all of a sudden Whitney Houston came on. It's like, yeah, I want to dance with somebody. I was like, yes, this is so exciting. And I had like Whitney and then I had um, Christina Aguilera, Mariah Carey, Celine Dion, like all the divas playing. And I was like, this is great. Um, But I just, I find music is so... My dad's actually said this even since we're little. He was like, don't fall asleep with the radio on because you don't know what is going to come up. And I didn't understand at the time, but now I was like, holy heck, like that vibration can come into your body. Um, If the radio is on and it's um, like the news is on in the morning, it's completely gone. I flick through and then I'm like, there's like however many channels on the radio and there's nothing I like. I literally turn it off. Or I put Spotify or Pandora on my phone. Okay, the other thing is friends. Now I put friends here, I know I've mentioned it like online friends, but in terms of friends that you see face to face, there have been a couple of people over the years um, I have distanced myself from. I, I made a mistake earlier just cutting someone off like cold turkey and she freaked out and she didn't handle it very well and I didn't feel very good about the way that I did it so the kind of the cutthroat effect like just um doesn't work well that's what I found so what I do is I kind of distance myself so I had one friend that would constantly call me and I was like dude I don't want to speak to you because every time I speak to her she lowers my vibration and she drains my energy and she never asks about how I am going and I'm always like "Mm -hmm. mm-hmm mm-hmm I was like, dude, you're just talking crap. And so I only, well, I predominantly like to associate with people that raise my vibration up. Now that's going to be something that's going to take you some time. And I find that if I'm going into a situation, for instance, um, like if you're going to work and you're around people, like obviously you, you obviously you need to go to work and earn money, however that is. And if you're around people that are lowering your vibration, <clears throat> which has happened to me quite a lot recently, I have to do my self-love practices like super quick, um, not super quick, like get myself into that headspace before I go in and I walk in, I'm like, my work loves me and I love my work. Um, everything is always working out for me. Today is going to be the best shift ever. And I have to really, really, really talk myself into it because times I don't and I come home and I'm a, and Peter goes, why are you swearing all of a sudden? I was like, oh my God, I've just spent like three hours around these crazy people. 
so I'm very, uh, I'm empath um, an empath, so I pick up on other people's emotions very quickly. So I have to be extra conscious about um, getting myself into vibrational alignment. One thing that I actually do is um, a kundalini meditation that I quickly do. If I just move back, you might be able to see it. Oh gosh, I'm like mic'd in here. So what I do is I have my hand here and I go like this. And I start from the, the root chakra, so right down at the base of your spine, you can't really see. And then I slowly move the energy up. It's not very strong. And then I tie it in a bow to stop it from going up. Then I do it again. It's not very strong. And then by the third time, I can really feel it. Here we go. And then I do one, two, three. Now the energy is at the top of my head. The reason I know that is I put my hand here, slowly lift it up. There, it is. I can feel it. I can feel the energy. I love this feeling. Move it up. There we go. And then I have my hands like this and I'm literally going like this seven times for the seven chakras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that I can literally feel like that has unblocked all of my seven chakras very, very quickly. I'll make another video about this to show you more in depth. Um, but that I can literally feel the energy is on my crown chakra. Let's try it again. See if it's still there. Just, just try and put your hand on your head. Lift it up. Do you feel anything? Oh, it's so weird. The energy is just right here. So I do that before I go into uncomfortable situations. The other thing, we kind of got a bit sidetracked there, but I'm sure you don't mind, is TV and movies. Like, what are you watching? I don't watch anything. Um, I don't watch the news. Well, for starters, we have, a, we have a, um, a television, but it's not hooked into TV. So it's just kind of like a monitor. And we use that just to watch um, movies on. Um, so I don't, I watch a lot of romance movies. Um, I don't watch dramas anymore. I really don't watch anything that doesn't raise my vibration. I've been watching so many DVDs from the library of the Abraham Hicks series, which is amazing. I kind of stopped for a little bit, so I kind of need to get back into that again. Um, but I have watched them all, so I kind of just will re-watch them over because there's always something that you can learn. So that is very, very important. If you do have the TV, then just be very mindful what you're watching because you're probably like, I can't watch ads because they drive me nuts. It's like so much like negative brainwashing that's just like immersed into your subconscious. And it's like, eat this steak. It's the best steak ever. It's um, Australia Day. You've got to have some lamb on the barbie. It's just like, I, I, it's just not good for my vibration. Books and audiobooks is another one. So um, oh, what have I been reading recently? Just a lot of business books, a lot of entrepreneurial books, um, a lot of wellness books. I go through about a book a week, if not more. Um, I love to listen to books um, on audiobook, which is one of my favorites. And um, audible.com are amazing. You can check the link in the description and get a free seven day, no, is it seven days? There's a free trial anyway, so you can get your first book for free. And I've been working with them for a while because I actually love that you can fast forward books that you're listening to. So I was actually listening to The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein last week. And I actually put it at 1.25 or 1.5. So she was speaking a lot faster, but I was getting the information at a pace that I could actually easily understand. So that's amazing. So if you want to sign up for audible.com and get your first free book and listen to something that's going to be boosting your subconscious and helping you stay in vibrational alignment, click the link in the description. Okay, my love. So then my five tips, let's quickly go over them again. So we've got social media, we've got music and radio, we've got friends, TV and movies and books. 
So be very careful about those five things and only immerse your subconscious with things that are going to make you become a better person and help you raise your vibration on the emotional guidance scale. You don't want to be down in the fear because if you watch the news, then you're going to be in level 22, which is the fear stage. You want to be at number one, which is the state of love and well-being. Anyways, my love, I hope you have enjoyed these five tips today and I hope they're going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version and vibrate on the most powerful frequency of all, love. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Please comment and like this video, share it with your friends so they can stay in vibration alignment too. Good luck with unfollowing or unfriending anyone. Do not feel bad about it, okay? Don't feel bad about it. And let me know about your progress. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. Goodbye, my loves. See you later.